Okay, so tonight we are replacing the black box in our open build machine. Now, open builds is a company that manufactures and sells the parts needed to build your own do it yourself CNC machines, laser cutters, 3D printers, whatever you want to do. This is my old black box, and uh, it looks pretty much identical to the new one. Uh, the only thing that's different is the serial number, so I'll have to keep that in mind. Um, so on it, you have quite a few hookups, including an auxiliary one, a door switch, a servo hookup, which I'm not sure what the servo is for, but uh, we have a relay on here, the tool head, uh, which is to control the PWM on um, things like lasers and um, uh, smaller um, smaller CNC heads, not like the big router I have. Uh, of course, our 24 volt power supply and a fuse. There is our USB interface, which is really great because I can just run this straight from my computer. On this side, we have our power switch. We have our LED indicator lights and our current adjustment for our uh, stepper motors and the reset button, which is nice and proud so you can easily push it. On the back side is the hookups. The top row is for the probe and the limit switches. The bottom row is for our Z motor, our two Y motors, which uh, currently my setup is to have the Y motor slaved and our X motor. And on the other side is just ventilation. You have a 24 volt fan. And then on the bottom side is just very open to allow for ventilation. The cool thing about this is that it fits very easily onto an 80 millimeter space. So if I wanted to, I could place it on my open beam like that. Um, actually, I have one for them to sit on right there. Uh, so here's my power supply in my black box mounts to this piece of plywood. Um, eventually I'm going to have an enclosure for them and a way to keep it cool and dust free because my shop is pretty dusty. I don't have any dust collection anymore. So that's a problem that I'm going to overcome. I just haven't got to it. <clears throat> so let's open up our new one and see what we got. So here is our new black box. This is our black box motion control system. Um, it's a nicely designed package that is pretty damn clear on what's inside of it. And of course it tells you all the specifications on here and I'll just leave that up for just a second. Uh, we have four high powered, four amp stepper, stepper motor drivers, um, USB interface for plug and play. You literally could plug it into your computer and use their free controller to do this. Uh, 24 volt output for coolant, uh, variable frequency drive support, um, so if you have a 10 volt or lower uh, VFD for like um, those little motors that you see on Amazon. XYZ probe input, there's in, uh, end stop inputs, uh, and you can actually control your power output. So you can actually have a 24 volt or a five volt, and mine are five volt because they're just these little switches here, which is also sold by open builds. And here, I'll unplug this because everything's powered down. I don't have to worry about anything. So uh, here is the open builds switch. And uh, this one's, you know, pretty beat up. It's kind of old, um, but it has an indicator light. If you look here, you can see there's a spacer. Uh, the light lets me know that it's working and running and it just easily plugs in place. Um, there is, whoops, there is a three pl prong plug that you can output and it just goes right into place. Uh, and it'll be, I can't remember if these are normally open or normally closed, but it's just a micro switch. Um, but it has some circuitry on it that I'm sure prevents feedback and shorts. All right, so let's open her up and we'll take a quick look in here. All right, so opening up, we have a piece of foam that protects it. And at the very top, we have all the, sp all air the layout. So you can actually see how things go together and uh, we have documentation that is, you just scan your code and get it. And it is very, very thorough documentation. Um, I had a printout and it, it's, it's quite a bit. So on reaching into the box, we have our black box itself right here on top. 
and uh, you'd be careful when you open this because the mounting tabs are kind of caught in place. You just pull that out and there is our beautiful brand new black box. Uh, there are LEDs behind this to let us know that everything is operational and of course LEDs here as well. Uh, it looks like I can't really tell if this is laser cut or how that's put on there, but a lot of screen printing and I can't tell, but I think the silver parts are laser cut. Um, so it's very nice, nicely made. So let's set that down. Inside of the box, we have our please share. There are more parts inside. So it lets us know that underneath it here is our USB cable. Uh, they give you a brand new USB cable so that you can plug in. A uh, piece of corrugated uh, tubing, a uh, couple of uh, Allen wrenches, zip ties, and some drop-in T-nuts and mounting screws so that you can mount it in place. Um, and then that's it. That's our very nice looking box. Now, the cool thing that they have that I do not have yet and I would really like to have is called an interface and it plugs in here. Uh, to our USB, and it's like a like the controller on a large Fanuc machine or uh, uh, an another large CNC machine because you have the jog wheel and you can input and output on on there, and usually use a, a thumbstick or a disc to upload your design. So uh, that's it. That's our black box, and as you can see, it controls my machine. My machine has a um, a 30 inch wide bed and it has about um, 34 inches wide travel here um, so it's it's a pretty good size machine uh, it takes up a footprint of about uh, 40 inches by 40 inches it's a little bit bigger just because of how I have my controller held away from because I like having my uh, zero on the left hand side of my bed and of course you can designate that you can actually put it on the left rear or the right rear or right four, but I have mine on the left four because I just like that better. Um, but that's it. This is our new machine um, and we can get our CNC machine back up and running, uh, hopefully without any more issues. Um, so my controller here, my old controller, I think I caused a short, short in it, a short, that might as well be. Uh, I think I caused a short in it and unfortunately that caused it to stop working. But because this is an open builds machine, it is as simple as just putting a new one in place. Um, so that's it. That's our CNC machine, our open box, our open builds black box uh, unboxing. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it was informative. Um, it feels like a high quality piece. It has performed very well. It was purely me paying the stupid tax because I powered this on because I have my LED lights hooked up to it. And I'm pretty sure I caused a short when I dropped an Allen wrench into my machine. So, uh, but I was honest and I told them that and they got me a new part as quickly as they possibly could. And uh, I'm very appreciative of them doing that for me. Um, it's. $248 total is what this thing costs. Um, and I live really close, so I was able to ask for a pickup. Um, so if you are in the market to build your own laser cutter or improve a laser cutter you already have, build your own CNC machine, improve it, or you have something, one of them that is not working anymore, um, I'm gonna encourage you to look at these guys because this is all plug and play. For me, it, there's no programming involved, so it's very simple. I just I will just go through and plug all these wires into their correct outputs, and uh, obviously I'll have it powered down because I don't want to have that issue, that mistake again. Um, but uh, it's that simple. It really is plug and play, and you can move on and continue with your CNC projects like my piece of black walnut that is glued down back there, um, and it's it's very good quality so i encourage you to check out the open build store thank you